Hello guys. Today we've got a question under travel graphs. Okay, so the question reads, the diagram below shows the speed time graph of a particle. The particle started off from rest and accelerated uniformly for 10 seconds. It then traveled at a constant speed for 20 seconds and then decelerated to rest. This is the diagram here. Okay, so this question comes in paper one mechanics very easy so just follow through as we begin to solve these questions okay so the first question is saying find the value uh, find the speed v the particle reached if its acceleration was two meters per second squared in the first 10 seconds okay so we are trying to find the speed v as you can see on v there the value is not given so let us correct our data. Very important correction of data. Okay, so when we correct our data, we've been given A, we've been given time, and we are trying to find V, which is our final velocity in this case. So A, the value is two meters per second squared. That is our acceleration. Then T, we are finding the acceleration given is for the first 10 seconds. So our time is 10 seconds. Then V, we do not know question mark so the formula we're going to use here we'll use the formula for acceleration which says it final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken that is our formula over there okay so now let us substitute our values where we have a we need to put our acceleration our final velocity that's that is what we are calculating then u will represent initial velocity now looking at this particle you can see that it started from where from zero the question is saying started from rest okay so if it started from rest an object starting from rest it means speed there is equal to zero so our initial is a zero okay so this is um how we're going to be substituting our values then later on let us uh, introduce a one on two so that we can cross multiply so we have 2 multiplied by 10 which will give us a 20 and then we have v minus 0 so this 0 will not give any difference to v so the final answer will just be v equals to 20 meters per second that is the value for v here okay we go to the next given that the total distance covered was 750 meters find the value of t in the diagram okay so now uh, you should understand to say we have two types of trapeziums okay we have a trapezium that looks like this entire portion here from zero up to t that is one type of a trapezium we have a trapezium that looks like this portion that starts from 10 meters i mean 10 seconds up to the t that is another type of a trapezium now here they're saying this distance given is for the whole journey okay so since it is for the whole journey remember we say the portion covered by an object okay it is just the same as or it is equal to the area for that particular portion so since this is a trapezium it means we are going to use the formula for trapezium area of a trapezium to calculate the value for t okay so let us collect our data we've been given area in this case 750 meters squared okay then the time question mark we do not know here this is the trapezium so from here to here so we are going to use the formula for area of a trapezium because this distance given it will just be the same as it, the area so we have this formula here area is equal to 1 over 2 then a plus b in brackets multiplied by height this is the formula for area over a trapezium okay let us put the values so where this area we've put a 750 and then inside the brackets the value for a we're going to find the difference so a is the smallest side in this case so the difference between 10 and 30 meaning 30 minus 10 which is giving us 20 this is the 20 you're seeing here then the difference between 0 and the 10 
I mean, and the T, sorry. If we subtract a zero from whatever number will be here, it will still be the same. So don't subtract. Just say, just write your T here. Okay. So that's a T. Then times the height from here to here. A v, we found that it was 20 meters. Okay. So from here, we are going to divide the 2 into 20, which is giving us 10. Okay. So that's the 10 you're seeing here. And since this is paper 1, you're not using a calculator. So do not start multiplying this number with the numbers inside the brackets. You just um, uh, uh, make the work bulky. So just divide with the 10 on both sides. Okay. So dividing with the 10 on both sides, the 10 will go. We are going to remain with... Um, and then this side, if we divide the 10 into this, will give us a 75. Okay. So now we have the expression 75 equals to 20 plus T. From here, we'll make the 20 to cross the equal sign. So when it crosses, we'll have T equals to 75 minus 20. Okay. When we subtract, our final answer will be 55 seconds. So the value for T, here we now have a 55. Okay where there is T. So question B is done. We go to question C. What was the speed at 40 seconds? Okay. Someone might ask a question, but we don't have 40 seconds. Of course we don't have. But you should know to say 40 should be in between 30 and the 55 that we found. So we do not know. The 40 should be here. Okay. Just an example. Okay, we're just going to make an assumption to say this is where the 40 is in between 30 and 55. So they're asking us what could be the speed? Well, what was the speed of this uh, object or particle? What was the speed of this particle when it reached? Um, at, what was the speed of this particle at 40 seconds? Okay. So from here, we are just going to extract this triangle or remove this triangle. Okay, look at the last portion. It is forming a shape of a triangle. So let us take out that shape. Okay, this is the triangle we are seeing at the end. And then the 40 seconds, let us cut. So we have this line here representing the 40 seconds. Now from here to here, we know we found a what? A 20. So this side on my left, this side has a 20. Then this side here. This is the speed that we are trying to calculate. Okay. As you can see on that diagram. So this side, I don't know the speed, but I know the time. So the speed there is X. Okay. At the beginning here, we have 30. Here, we have 40. And, and then at the end here, we have a 55. So what we want are the differences in these numbers. So the difference between 30 and 40 when we subtract, it is a 10. Then the difference between 40 and the 55, when you subtract, it's a 15. Okay. Now we can use similarity and congruency. Okay. So here we're going to deal with similarity now, where we use corresponding sides to find the value that we do not know. Because we have two triangles now, the bigger triangle and the smaller triangle, which is this one here. Okay. This is a smaller triangle. So now, we are going to start with the smallest side, okay? We're going to start with the smallest side. So the smallest side is X. We'll start with this link here. So X, this side, is corresponding to 20. So X over 20. Then on the other side here, we have, we started with a smaller side, okay? A side of a smaller triangle. We are going back to the side of a smaller triangle again which is from here to here. What number is there? A 15. Then for the bigger triangle, starting from here up to here. So we need to add these pieces. So we say 10 plus 15 to get the side for the bigger triangle. Okay. Which will be now 15 over 25. So the 15 is the side for the smaller triangle. Then the 25 is the side from here to here. We are adding the 10 and the 15. From there, let us cross multiply. Okay, so we have x times 25, which will give us 25x, of course. Then 20 multiplied by 15, which will give us 300. 
From here, we want a value for x. Okay, so divided by 25 on both sides. Then the final answer will be, so 25 into 30, it goes there one time. Remainder is a 5. Into 50 goes there two times. So the answer is 12 meters per second. This is the value for the speed when the car is, um, so that was the speed of a car, okay, at 40 seconds. So make sure with such questions you use similarity, okay. So thank you very much for watching up to the end of this video and thank you for supporting. See you in the next video.